Hi, my name is Gary from organicweb.com.au and I'm a MailChimp partner. In this video, I'm going to show you how unbelievably simple it is to create an email that you can send every week that promotes products and gets you more sales. A lot of my clients have e-commerce stores, uh, some are leading brands with very large stores, and some are very small. Those stores are connected to MailChimp. Once your e-commerce store, whether that's WooCommerce, Shopify, BigCommerce, Magento, or any other, once it's connected to MailChimp or integrated with MailChimp, it is just so easy to create marketing that gets you great results. I've seen the results. And I'll show you just one way how we can do that, uh, do that rather, in, in MailChimp. And I'll show you that right now. But if you do enjoy this video, please subscribe to my channel, uh, as it really does help me. Thank you. So going across, you can see this is my demo store. Um, look, it happens to be a WooCommerce store, but it really doesn't matter what type of store. Uh, but you need to have it integrated with MailChimp itself. So I'm in MailChimp, as you can see, I'm in my audience. Again, what I'm going to do is show you how simple it is to create a campaign that will get you sales. It will just take you a few minutes and then you can just replicate or duplicate that campaign going forwards and just resend it and resend it and resend it. And it will have new content in it automatically by MailChimp. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So let's go and create an email campaign. I could create an email template. Now, this is not an email, uh, creating an email campaign class itself. I've done other videos on that. It's, it's more just showing you specific use case where we can use uh, a product or recommended product content block. Uh, so we could go campaigns, all campaigns, create an email or into an, a template. But I'll just start a new. So I'll click create email. And by the way, if you do need help with your e-commerce and so on, just give me a shout. Uh, we'll, we'll create a regular campaign for now and we can call it anything we want to. I'll just call it test for now and click begin. Wait for MailChimp to load up. We're in the campaign builder, the email campaign builder. Right, so uh, starting at the top, who do we want to send to? This is important, we'll click add recipients. You must at this stage, select the audience, if you have more than one audience, the audience to which your e-commerce store is connected. Uh, in my case, it happens to be Gary's demo, so I'll click that. I'm going to send to the entire audience, but honestly, you can send to, to a segment if you really want to. MailChimp recommends that we personalize the to field, so I'll just do that. That's great. And click save. Okay, so we've defined who we're sending to. Going to the top again, who it's from, you can change that if you want to. The subject line, uh, you know, we would change it here. Um, check out, check out what's, what's new, for example. Um, and you can add an emoji if you really want to. Look, that's all up to you. Um, I would recommend you add some preview text here. It's just like a second subject line. Um, our latest products are here now, this email shows this or you would put something like that in the preview text um, but I'll leave that for you to do so I'll click Save now let's get on to the main the main content of the email we're going to send I'm going to click design email we'll wait for this to load up and you know I'm assuming that you've created an email in the past uh, but what we'll do for now is we'll just use a default one of the default MailChimp uh, layouts which are very easy to work with they work really well I'm just going to select this basic one column but you could use any they are really good so I'm going to click that the basic one column just to use it wait for this to load up okay we are on our campaign builder where we we have the actual email we are creating here uh, on, the, on the left hand side as we look um, on the right hand side is blocks we can we, we, we create it with blocks the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into style and I would go through each of these and just change them as I uh, change them to what I need. So for example, if I want to change the background color, I could change it here, but I'll just change it to white. Um, sorry, I'm going all over the place here. There we go. Change it back to white. And, and again, I, I would go through each of these uh, now get them right because I will show you how once we've sent this campaign we can just uh, 
uh, duplicate or replicate the campaign going forwards and then you don't need to all, all your style will, will already be set but let's go back to blocks okay so this is where i'm going to build my campaign first of all i'll add my logo so i'll click uh, in my uh, logo block my, my image block click replace i'm in the content studio i would find my logo or upload my logo and click insert nice and easy okay now let's add a few words so i could do something here like um, um this is what is new you'd put something a little bit better um and these are our latest products enjoy just just for example oh, spelling my typing is shocking but anyway um okay there we go so you'd add just a little bit more text maybe and that's up to you and of course if you if you do want to add a first name uh the person's first name which which is probably a really good idea it, we'll just click on the merge tags button click first name and maybe i'll add a com col comma sorry and i'll just change the case so first name so gary in this case um these are our latest products sorry just bear with me bear with me enjoy okay so now to add products is very simple because you've connected your e-commerce store with mailchimp you'll have various additional product blocks that other people don't see so in this case we have a product recommendation block and i'll be using that we do have a product block where we can show a specific product we want to add uh, specific product from our e-commerce store and we also have a promo code and I've, I've created a, 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 um, recently I made a, a separate uh, video on how to use the promo code content block so check that out and, and that'll explain how to use the promo code content block but for now I will just do the product recommendation I'll drag and drop that wherever I want it and we have various options if you've had enough sales etc um, You'll be able to do personalized recommendations and i highly recommend that um, but in this case i'm going to use we could do our best sellers but in this case i'll do new arrivals so if i'm adding products for example every week uh, and i'm sending an email every week mailchimp will automatically just add the latest products um, but again that that's an option you can choose how many products you want recommended you can see there too uh, you can choose do you want the title remove the price add the price etc etc and mailchimp will will automatically fill uh, this is what we call a merge tag or, or this content product title product price and so on we can change the product text we could go in and change the color of the product by going into uh, the button sorry by going into style and so on but that's how simple it is to add a product recommendation a bestsellers or new arrivals so this will show the two newest products um, i could change the range of the newest products but i'll leave them as the two newest products i'll click save and close uh, I could, you know, manipulate uh, or, or, or rather change, uh, add my links to my Facebook and so on. But I'll just delete that for now, just to show I can. I'm doing this relatively quickly, but you can obviously do it in your own time. But that's really all we need to do. So now, if I click preview, preview mode, okay, and then enable live merge tag info so to the right of the enable live merge tag info you'll see i can switch that on so i'll, I'll click that to switch it on and what you notice is that uh, mailchimp then shows me immediately a demo of what this will look like and they've automatically brought through the two newest products um, that i added to my e-commerce store um, so yeah all looking good um, i would check it what it looks like on a mobile device and what you can see is it nicely folds to look good or responsive on on small screen devices um, and so on we would obviously go through the rest of the preview um, and 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 so on but i'll click continue for now right so to from subject content uh, it's all looking good um, you would do the other things as as you see fit uh, that's great so we could schedule or send so let me just send this for now uh, just to illustrate so i'll click send click send now okay so that email will be sent right away to people out there and they'll start getting it in a few minutes start opening and so on but now to speed up the process in the future so i've sent 
I've sent that with the latest product, the two latest products. Um, what I can do, let's say once a week now, every Friday or every Tuesday or whenever you want to send, what I could easily do is go campaigns. So click campaigns, all campaigns. So there's that email that I've just sent. Then what I can do is quite simply just replicate it and replicate will, 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 will copy it exactly and just send it next next week and send it the week after and send it the week after and MailChimp every time will just automatically insert the two latest products for you or the product recommendation for you. So it is just so simple. Honestly, two week, two, I reckon it would take you two minutes a week once you've sent your first email um, to send out your latest products and offers to people. And um, I've seen the results with my clients and, and they get tremendous results, get great sales from emails like this. But thanks for joining me. I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au and please hit the subscribe button and contact me if you need help with your MailChimp training or connecting up your e-commerce store. Thanks for joining me.